or whatever that was. <laughs> you all set? I'm good. How are you doing? Matthew Thorne, thanks so much uh, for coming back on Sessions. Yeah, thanks your, for having your me. Your fourth time, but the first time as a uh, solo singer. First time as me, yeah. Yeah. So t- tell me about these songs uh, that you played here today. Um, yeah, they. apart from that, the last one, uh, which is, kind of, you know, political ramblings, that one, that one's been around for a while, but the rest of them are pretty fresh, pretty new, um, like past like three or four months. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I've just, uh, for a long time, I wasn't able to finish a song and would just get to a point with it and give up and just afraid it would suck. But, you know, you push through that and then hopefully some, you know, you write a bunch, hopefully some of them are okay. <laughs> and, and how does uh, your own music differ from uh, the, the the other projects that you've been involved with in the past? I mean, you played cello uh, for, for, I think, a couple of different songwriters on sessions, and mm-hmm. you've had your own band Fuzz Puddle on here as mm-hmm. well. So uh, j- just for those who haven't experienced all the many aspects of you in your music, uh, uh, how, how does this differ from uh, the other projects? Well, um, that stuff comes pretty naturally to me, like the playing along with other people or augmenting what others are doing. Like the, you know, the cello is is like a really versatile instrument and you can do a lot with it, but um, doing, doing your own, get, you know, feels super vulnerable to uh, get up and say, these are some words and some music that I think are good. Uh, yeah, so that's different. And um, who, who are some of your biggest influences as far as this this music you're writing? As far as this music, yeah. I mean, I had like a a baseline of like prog rock and like seventies music um, when I was younger, and I don't know. It took me quite a while to kind of appreciate the value of like simplicity. Um, but in in terms of artists that I kind of aspire to, um, well, Nick Drake certainly stands out as one. Um, yeah, um, and and Nas Mitchell more recently. Um, yeah, a bunch of just kind of singer songwriters who take something simple and make it beautiful, you know? Yeah, and there, there's probably a lot of complexity to the, the lyrics, too, I imagine. I mean, uh, with with Anais Mitchell and... Yeah, 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 for sure. No, uh, Anais Mitchell's just an all-around amazing songwriter, so... Um, she's been an inspiration, uh, like, uh, I don't know, I've been getting a lot into Greg Brown, Rob, the other half of Fuzz Puddle, uh, put me onto him. And a couple of other songwriters that kind of got me into wanting to be better at that, about just finding the, you know, beauty of a relationship between like two or three chords and like building a narrative out of that and making it emotionally cogent. I don't know. And you're planning uh, uh, your first solo record, yeah, uh, right for next year. Yeah, I've been um, I've been recording it. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going to make the cut, but yeah, it's it's coming together. Is it is safe to say that some of the songs here today will be on that record? It's safe to say that at least at least three of them will be. Okay, you'll have to guess which ones. <laughs> um, and lastly, do you have any shows coming up that like people to know about um, in the next few months? I am. Um, Playing in an abandoned building at some point. I should probably know when that is. Um, if you have a website, I have. I have. I yeah. now have a Facebook page. It took a long time to uh, I don't know, get some material together to like put something online and put my name to it and all that stuff. But yeah, I have a place you can go look at my stuff, and there'll be more, and uh, there'll be shows up at some point. Uh, yeah, if you go facebook.com slash cello monkey, you'll get it. 
cool. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Thanks for having yeah. me. It's been a pleasure. I think that was a nice.